happy Mother's Day to, well, to everyone, but I know that it's, it's only Mother's Day in the UK today. I know that everywhere around the world celebrates it on different days. Where are you going, baby? We're obviously not doing anything today. Um, I might try and maybe sit in the garden or something. What are you doing? No. She's wearing her ballet shoes, which is really sweet. I'll try and talk about something more interesting later. Wow, I look horrendous. So um, it's 3.30-ish in the afternoon. And I've just woken up, Edie's napping. I had like half an hour nap, but I've woken up with a dislocated hip. Um, my hips dislocate, mainly my right one. Um, sometimes, I don't think I've ever had it do it in my sleep. So that's a nice first. Um, I'm not feeling very well. I've got a really bad headache. Um, I'm having to ration my pain medication because obviously I can't get any tablets anywhere and I can't have my super strong stuff until Edie goes to bed but to be honest they cause they kind of can trigger migraines so it's probably not the best idea to have them whilst I've got such a bad head um, I managed to shuffle over to my dressing table to get some cleanser to take my makeup off because I look horrendous and it was all over my face um, yeah, so I need to try and work out how the fuck I'm going to stand up without crumpling. Um, I have crutches and stuff up here so I can use them to lean on, but it's like genuinely it's excruciating. Um, I've got pain in my hip and all along my back, like my lower back and a little bit in my other hip, but like when I try and weight bear, it's just... Just, uh, like I said, it's excruciating, it's so painful. Um, so, for today's not really gone to plan. I mean, no days are going to go to plan at the moment with everything going on. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to film a bit more today, but it's just, it's not going to happen. Um, Edie's just waking up, so I'm not sure how I'm going to cope. Um, normally it kind of settles back in, um, maybe it takes like half an hour to settle back in and the pain kind of eases off a little bit, but yeah, uh, how am I supposed to lift Edie up when I can barely stand or I can't stand at the moment? So that's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm struggling a little bit. I'm also struggling a bit mentally uh, today. I think prospect of isolation and um all of that uh, all of everything going on is very uh, mentally um demanding it's difficult for everyone i'm aware that i'm not special in that um but when you have um physical disabilities because i have physical disabilities it does put an extra thing on it, like, for example, trying to get food because there are no delivery slots at the moment um, and I can't go out. So that's difficult. But along with that is all the usual stuff that I have day to day anyway, irrespective of this. And I can't just switch it off, um, like my eating disorder and all of the self-image stuff. Um, I said this morning, I don't know if I, I don't know if I said this morning when I was filming, but I'm really struggling with my self image and everything um, from filming myself and editing myself. Uh, it's it's not the best for me, um, but it's something that I am gonna keep doing because the pros outweigh the cons because uh, getting to upload, do something creative, speak to people and have that interaction is good for me. Um, but yeah, all of the, I've got all of the usual mental stuff to deal with, all of the usual physical stuff to deal with, but then all of this other stuff on top. So it's difficult. I've also got the worry because now my niece is ill. Um, it's looking likely that she has uh, COVID-19 or coronavirus. My sister and also her mum is also poorly. Um, 
my mum works in a doctor's surgery. She's going to get it at some point. She's um, she's not in the vulnerable category because she's not older, but she's, you know, she's had a few health problems over the last few years. So, and, and because she works in a doctor, she's going to be exposed to it. So that's a worry. Uh, my dad as well. And it's a worry Edie getting it because of her problems with their chest. Wow, I've been talking a long time. Um, I've mentioned before, but she had problems breathing when she was born. She's had, you know, she's ended up in hospital numerous times because of her chest. They think she's got asthma, but they can't diagnose until they're older. But yeah, that's a worry. So, everything's a worry at the moment. That's what we've established from today. Um, I'm going to leave it there for today because I really don't feel good. I will speak to you tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye.